Mr. Rectangle, Mr. Rectangle, where are you? Here I am, here I am, with my four sides. Mr. Square, Mr. Square, where are you? Here I am, here I am, with my four equal sides. Mr. Triangle, Mr. Triangle, where are you? Here I am, here I am, with my three sides. Mr. Sako, Mr. Sako, where are you? Here I am, here I am, rolling round and round. How are you, my beautiful learners? I hope you're okay. It's a teacher annunciator. Welcome to Easy Elimu, Learning Simplified. We have been talking about shapes, and we've talked about the different shapes, the rectangle, the squares, and the different types of lines making them. We have two, those that are using the curved lines and those that have the circular lines. We have those that have three straight lines and those that have four straight lines. Now, today we want to use these shapes to make patterns. What is a pattern? If you remember very well, we did patterns in numbers, we did the number patterns, we did patterns when you're talking about utensils at home, fruits. What is pattern? We said pattern is a repeated thing. And this thing must have, if I'm talking about three plates, I must also have three cups. A pattern is something that is repeated and it's repeated in a particular manner. There are those that will follow the same color. There are those that will follow different shapes. There are those that will follow a different letter. There are those that will follow a different number. And we talked about the different types of patterns. We have the number patterns. We have the shape patterns. We have the dot patterns. We have the line patterns. And now we want to talk about the shape patterns together with the letter patterns. Now, if you look at the board, what can you see? What can you see on the board? Teacher, there is a rectangle. Then a circle. Then a rectangle. So who can tell me if it is a circle, if it's a rectangle, circle, rectangle, which one will be the next shape here? Which one will be the next shape? Because I don't know. Who can tell me which one will be the next shape? Teacher, the next shape will be a circle. Very good. The next shape will be a circle. Now, what color will be that circle? That circle will be color blue. What if I'm given this one, what if I'm given a shape like this? What if I'm given a rectangle facing up? And then the next one faces down like this. Then the next shape pattern faces again down and then the last one now i want someone to fill in the last shape no teacher this one you're confused we are saying the first one is facing up the second one is upside down but of course a different color so you can see are you seeing the first one the first one is facing Look at my triangle. The second one is now facing down. The third one is facing up. So who can tell me how will be the third, the fourth tri triangle? How will be the fourth triangle? Will it be facing up or facing down? Who can tell us what will be the next? The next will be facing down. The next will be facing down. And of course, we use a pink color to show the next pattern. Now, I have been told my next pattern here has my next pattern here has a square, a circle, and a triangle. A square. A square. A circle. No, it has a circle, a square, and a rectangle. Not a rectangle, a triangle. A circle, a square, and a triangle. So someone is asking me which shapes, which pattern will follow next. Complete the pattern. Complete the pattern. 
complete the pattern. A circle, a square, a triangle. Which shapes will follow to complete the pattern? We also need a circle followed by a square followed by a triangle to complete the pattern. That is how we are supposed to complete the pattern. Sometimes they will bring the, the pattern and they ask you to redraw. Do you know the meaning of the word redraw? What does the word re means? Re means redo it again. Redo it again. Repeat it again. Now this time they will bring you circles. Maybe these circles are touching each other by the Have you seen my pattern? Now, then they say redraw. It is not complete today. Today is redraw. What will you do? You go again, pick the circular thing they used, <coughs> and maybe now you use a different color, and you do the same drawing the way it has been done. They have said you do what? You re, you redraw. Have you seen the way I've redrawn the pattern? You have drawn it the way it was. That is the meaning of the word redraw. So what happens in patterns? If you're talking about two triangles, two rectangles, and two squares, the pattern should also have two triangles, two squares, and two rectangles. If you're talking about the triangle, one facing up, one facing down, one facing up. If I'm talking about one, two facing up, one, two should also be facing down. If I'm talking about a circle, a square, a triangle, the repetition will be a circle, a square, a rectangle, a triangle, a circle, a square, a triangle, up to the end. When they talk about the rectangle, the circle, the rectangle, the circle, the rectangle. If I'm having two circles in the pattern, the, the rectangle should also be two. I will not add here another. If I come and add here a rectangle, my answer will be wrong. Why? Because we are not talking about one, two, three, and one, two. A pattern must have something that is the same and repeated. You don't talk about three, then in this pattern you come and finish with four, then the other one comes and finish with... No, they're supposed to be having the same number of items in each pattern. Are we together? So what are we going to do today in the evening? I want you to go home. You use different materials to make patterns. Use the carton box, use the, the papers, use the newspapers, the old newspapers, come up with very beautiful patterns. These patterns can be a circle and then a, tri uh, a triangle joining them like this. So it forms something like a, a chain. Make it as beautiful as possible. You can even color these ones different colors to make it as beautiful as possible. So learn when we are supposed to draw a pattern, when you're supposed to complete a pattern, and when you're supposed to redraw a pattern. And remember, the number of items should be the same throughout the pattern. Are we together? It was nice having you around, and I hope to see you in the next grade as we tackle other mathematical questions.